Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Meichi Makes Up. Today we're gonna take a look at the new 2021 Summer Makeup Collection from Hermes. And I look like this right now because we're gonna try out a bunch of blushes. Um, so I don't actually have foundation on, just my eye makeup and concealer. As we get to just before the last blush, I will finish up my makeup, we'll try the last blush, and we'll also pair it with a matching Hermes lipstick. So this is what I have. We'll take a look at all the goodies in here. There they are, the three blushes. The first shade that really caught my eyes is Rose Abricot. It's like a muted, peachy, orangey blush. And then we have Rose Pommet. Rose Pommet shares the same name as a limited edition lipstick that uh, the brand released last fall, which I don't have. However, the last shade, Rose Ombre. We will save this for last after I have put on my foundation and set the makeup because I have the lipstick that shares the same name as this blush shade. So I want to see how the two pair together. In addition to the blushes, I also got two of the lip enhancers. I'm telling you, if you love pinky, pastels, peachy shades, the design, the color block design of these two, they're what dreams are made of, like in my opinion, and I just could not take my eyes off of them. Uh, there's a reason why I'm prefacing the lip enhancers with this little, you know, I can't take my eyes off of this packaging because they are not that pigmented. They are similar to the Poppy Lip Shine, except that they are matte in finish. So true to the name, they are truly enhancers because of the matte finish, there's this like blurring, softening effect of your lips. Um, the lines on your lips look softened and it has like a tinted color to it. Um, both are beautiful. I haven't tried uh, Rose Dete yet, and this is um, Rose Abricote. Um, I can't tell you why the blush is Rose Abricot, and I couldn't tell you why this shade name has an extra E with an accent at the end. Um, the accent is in l'accent aigu. Uh, I'll let the native French speakers who watch this channel kind of help us out with that and let us know uh, if there is a difference there. Um, I do think they both mean apricot in English. So before we get into the swatches, let's take a look at the uh, packaging as well as the product description. All the blushes come in this paper box here. It is the same as the uh, lipsticks. And then inside this paper box, there is another box, uh, which is the classic Hermes uh, brand and color. You slide this out and the compact sits inside. What's different from the lipsticks is the lipsticks also have this kind of outer paper box and then you also get this second box here inside, but the lipsticks come with a sleeve and it's quite sturdy and the product sits inside like this. I couldn't tell you why these don't come in a sleeve and I actually didn't even realize that until I came home and opened it because when I first saw it, they were just all displayed without, um, without a sleeve. So, you know, there's no way of knowing and I didn't think to ask. However, the compacts, like the lipsticks, have a magnetic closure. They're not particularly heavy or weighted, unlike the lipsticks. Um, these are pretty sturdy, hefty cases. But like the lipsticks, the compacts are of a magnetic closure. They look the same aesthetically and design-wise as the lipsticks, um, but they're quite light. And I think you can hear it. So that's the blush, and this is the lipstick. Uh, it's quite different from each other. Uh, you do have the emblem here from the brand. And on the back, there is a pinhole, which you can put something through and this will pop out. Um, these blushes are refillable. So while I got three, um, 
if you have one compact as you finish one, or you could even buy refills to put into your compact as well. So that's another way to experience um, different shades without having to commit to uh, multiple compacts of your blushes. Getting into the product description, there is a little bit of a story behind um, what Alphamaz is saying is the second chapter to their beauty uh, story or beauty releases. Um, they're saying that Rose Hermes is the hue of a sensitive and radiant presence. The collection comprises eight shades of Rose Hermes's silky blush, two brushes, and three rosy lip enhancers. It is complemented by a beautiful accessory, the Pomme Leather Blush Case, uh, which I did not see when I went to get the blushes. Rose Hermes Silky Blush and the Rosy Lip Enhancers are refillable objects of beauty. Um, good to know that the lip enhancers have refills to them. I couldn't find them on the website. Maybe I didn't look thoroughly enough, but I did see refills for the blushes. And then about the blushes themselves, um, they come in a semi-matte finish embossed with texture resembling silk twill. A fine, silky, long-lasting powder for a luminous, radiant complexion. I'm excited to try. At once ethereal and compact, its ultra-light pigmented texture allows color intensity to be tailored as desired, softened or asserted from the most natural to the most sophisticated finish. This long-lasting powder clings to the skin with the first touch, Rose Alhamez Silky Blush can be refilled by simply removing and replacing its powder pan. Refills are sold separately, etc. Uh, with its round case and off-centered mirror, the disc of white and gold light designed by Pure Hardy is distinctive for its lightness as it was conceived for use on the go. So that's why uh, these compact are so much lighter than these lipsticks. Slipped inside its orange box, this is a pure Hermes object. Um, these blushes are made in France and have a shelf life of 12 months. The lipsticks are made in Italy with a shelf life of 18 months. Heading on to the swatches, the blushes do have a uh, perfume scent to them. It is different from the lipstick, but it is very light. When we compare to Chanel blushes, um, it's maybe a third of the intensity of that scent. I think it's pretty pleasant. We have Rose Abricot. Very soft. That swatch came off beautifully. And then we have Rose Pommet. And then Rose Nuit. I think these are beautiful. Let's go ahead and swatch the lip enhancers as well. So I have Rose Dete here. And this is Rose Apricote. Very light, you're not gonna see a lot of pigment. They are tinted lip balms basically, but in a matte finish. So you can see this is Rose Dete. And right next to it, just very, very light, um, blends right in with my skin tone. We have uh, the peachy shade, Rose Abricote. I'm now ready for the blush. We'll apply it on the cheeks um, on this side here. And then let's see how that looks. And maybe we'll apply it on the other side too. Or maybe we'll save the other side of the cheek for a different shade. So I managed to get a lot of product. And this is the peachy Rose Abricote. That's pigmented. Okay, let me go in here and get a bigger, fluffier brush. Use this. So this is Rose Apricot. And I am going to apply Rose Pommet on the other side. And I'm gonna use a different brush for that. So I also got a lot of product, but this time I'm going to tap it off and dab it on a tissue. Mmm, 
I love Rose Pomet. And I bet Rose Abicot would just be fine if it wasn't so concentrated. Um, yeah, next time I use it, I'll definitely remember to go light hand or just really tap off the excess. But these are the two shades. And uh, I love a good orange peachy blush. And I think this is just it. This pink shade also seems very universal. Um, it's bright, great for spring, going into summer. I can see it going with like all kinds of makeup looks. And Rose Abricot on the website is described as a velvety orange pink like a ripe apricot in a ray of sunlight. There was another shade I was interested in called Rose Blush. And this shade here, which I'll put a picture above, is described as a fresh pink blended with coral for a healthy glow. Um, it was a difficult decision, but I figured because if I did get Rose Blush and I was committing to three blushes, but if I did get it, it would sit probably in between. No, not probably. I know that it does sit in between because it, it's what it looks like on the website too. It'll sit between in terms of um, intensity of color and brightness. It'll sit between this peachy apricot shade along with this pinky shade here. So it just kind of sits in the middle in between these two. Um, beautiful in itself. I don't think I would regret it if I had gotten it, but it wouldn't have given me a chance to try a deeper shade and that's why I landed on Rose Nuit and I think this is going to be probably a pretty universally flattering shade and the Rose Pomet is described as a bright radiant pink evoking the rosy cheeked glow of emotion. I agree with that, I do. Well let me take this off and then we'll come back, um, we'll try the uh, last blush, I'll finish my makeup and then uh, we'll get into the lip enhancers. With the rest of the makeup done, I'm gonna go into Rose Ombre. And Rose Ombre looks to be a softer shade. I'm gonna go in with a little bit more product. It's subtle. And I did go in with a second to like a third application um, on this side, actually on both sides. And I like how it looks. This shade actually reminds me of a shade I use from um, Viseart. And it's, it's not quite as pink. It almost is like more mauve-y. But every time I use it as blush with the right look, it's it's so beautiful and it's not a color you would automatically think oh that's going to be a great blush shade but it turns out to just work perfectly i think um this shade here definitely has those vibes i do like how it looks more on the right side than the left but it could be the left side i just have like a little bit more texture right here and uh, sometimes like the product doesn't go on very smoothly because of that but i love this color um, it's not the shade I would use to go with this eye look um, or a shade I would uh, necessarily gravitate to towards summer. It's going to be the other two. It's going to be the peachy apricot shade and then the pinky, uh, bright pinky shade here. Um, this I think is really gorgeous. But once we get into cooler weather in the fall or um, if I'm just looking for a more neutral look, I would definitely uh, use Rose Ombre for that. So I'm gonna now try on the lip enhancers. Let's go with, I think you can see it more now on my hand. Right here is this apricot shade. We're gonna give that a try. So that's one application. And I think you can see my lips are slightly blurred. I'm gonna go in for a second. And I think now you can see the tinted, um, the tint of the of the balm a little bit more. It's very soft, and um, you can kind of see the color on the edges of my lips like a little bit more. You can see like that hint of orange. Um, but I think Lip Enhancer is the right name for this product. It softens up everything. It does feel 
moisturizing and hydrating but there is no shine it's not like a lip balm where you have that shine to it um, I did ask about you know the difference between the lip balm and um, the poppy lip shine plus this lip enhancer uh, the difference between the balm and the enhancer is that one is a matte finish and one has that sheen that a balm normally has and the difference between the poppy lip shine and the lip enhancer is they're both tinted unlike the balm uh, this is in a matte finish so it comes down to it's not as hydrating as a as a balm and then it's matte in finish so that's the difference or differentiators um, for the lip enhancers so I'm going to just wipe off uh, real quick because there's not that much color and we're gonna try rose d'été You can see Rose Dete, the shade, much more, like the tint, much more noticeable. I think orange really complements my skin tone, but also blends into my skin tone. I, I feel like that's what it is, because I look at the swatch on my hand, I can see it, but it doesn't stand out as much as um, Rose Dete. So I'm gonna go back in with another application. it's quite rosy what do you guys think of this well I'm definitely gonna put these through some sort of wear test wear them and see how long the hydration and comfort level lasts um, my thoughts on the lip enhancers is if you're really interested in them they're worth giving a try they're just different uh, it's in a matte finish and we don't see that too often actually I can't think of any um, products that I've tried in the past year that was like a balm but in a matte finish so th this is different from what we usually see and I just love the packaging I just love the color block like if I could decorate a room in the house with these themes like white gold and this pastel candy pink and then <laughs> add in this like you know a pastel peachy color I'll just be in there all day like I can't take my eyes off of these so I think it's worth trying getting one to try and see how much you enjoy it um, you can also get refills and finally with the rose ombre blush I do have as I mentioned earlier the lipstick in the same name and I'll swatch this too it's in satin finish but you can see why the two shares the same name they both have that cool neutral tone and I think they actually would go well together so I'm going to take off the lip enhancer and then I'm going to apply the lipstick so this is rose ombre with the rose ombre satin lipstick it has been a really fun afternoon looking at all the products, taking them out of their packaging, and then finally sitting down to film this video. Um, let me know below if you're interested in any of these items. I had my eye on the longer uh, face brush and I felt it, it was nice and soft. It's made up of goat hair, it's uh, made in France, and I was I was this close, I was this close to getting it, but um, I actually just recently got a few more brushes um, of Koyudo's. I got uh, something from their BP line and also from uh, what would be the Fupa line, which is retired. And I'll give you guys a sneak peek here. This is from Kihitsu and Koyuro produces the Kihitsu brushes. This shape here is a, uh, used to be a Koyuro Fupa brush, and I forget if it was 02 or 03. For my video, I'll have all the information uh, clarified on there, uh, but basically, you can no longer get this version um, from Koyuro, but you can still get it from Kihitsu. Uh, that's why I was interested, because I wanted to try more Fupa brushes, I have two other ones here. These are from Koyudo. I will have a video of that uh, at some point. I'm trying to clear some of the uh, video ideas on my backlog. I finally got my You Beauty video out uh, yesterday, so I'm happy about that. As for where to shop these products, um, they're now widely available. I will have a bunch of links below that you can choose from, um, so hopefully your favorite shopping place is also on there. 
Um, these blushes were actually meant to be released last year, but was postponed due to everything that had been happening. Um, so now it's finally here. And then from what I heard in the fall, they will be releasing face powders. I don't know what kind of face powders. I'm thinking uh, possibly setting powder, finishing powder, maybe bronzer. All very exciting, um, all possible. We'll find out more soon enough. If you're new to the channel, welcome, good to have you. I hope you subscribe, like this video, and ring the bell to get notified every time new content is released. I do review a lot of luxury makeup as well as skincare occasionally. And coming up, um, I do have a review video on Westman Atelier's new squeaky clean liquid lip balms. I ordered three shades to try for you guys. I'm really excited and just getting into right into clean makeup these days. Um, and then following that, maybe before we'll see when I post the video, we'll also have a review of Viseart's Soleil La Plage uh, new Eton Du palette. It looks gorgeous. It looks gorgeous. I'm so excited for that. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.